Hi everybody, welcome to Flagler Gym on the campus of Flagler College here in St. Augustine, Florida. And thanks for joining us for this Peach Belt Conference volleyball match between the homestanding Flagler College Saints and the visiting Francis Marion Patriots. A look at the starters, first for the Patriots. Number two, Alexis Watts is a libero. Number seven, Lexi Albright, at outside hitter. Number eight is Kayla Arthur, an outside hitter. The setter is Finn Millions. Millions. She's number 13. The middle blocker is number 14, Ianla Thigpen. An outside hitter, number 15, Gracie Davis. And rounding out the starting lineup at middle blocker, number 16, Lily Walton. Starting lineup for the Saints today at Libero, Carolina Garstica. Up front at outside hitter, number six, Rebecca Makovic. The middle hitter is number seven, Logan Garcia. The right side, number 13, Lindsey Glenn. Kennedy Muff, number 14, is the setter. And Edie Lamro is also at Libero today. Lamoureux will serve for the Saints. Swing from the left side, and Makovic is denied. Point for the Patriots. Flagler, coached by Matt Affolder in his seventh year. Assistant coaches Kelly Pickett, Pete Sproles, and Caitlin Posey. Francis Marion is coached by Lauren Ballfield-Edwards. And this service 
Sails out of bounds long. Point for the Saints. And checking in is Sarah Kate Thompson to serve in place of Logan Garcia. Set on the right side, Saints able to handle it. Free ball for the Patriots, and that is out. Two to one Saints here in the first set. Flagler comes in, seven and two overall, five and zero in the Peach Belt Conference. Francis Marion one and three overall and in the league. Blocked at the net, but it'll be a point for Francis Marion in the side out. Alexis Watts will serve for Francis Marion. She's a 5'2 junior from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. From the right side, a big swing and the kill from Jordan Taylor. Three, two Saints. That one is long. Tied at three early on. Francis Marion won its first match and its first league match of the season. And then has dropped three straight. On the left side, Saints keep it alive. Great defensive effort. And the swing from the right side is blocked. Taylor and Makovic combining on the block there, I believe. And that's a net violation, so no block, excuse me. And it's a point for the Patriots, 4-3. Francis Marion. And that's a service ace from Kayla Arthur, 6'2 senior from Holly Springs, North Carolina. Arthur to serve again, Patriots by two. Muff, middle set. And it's a kill for Millions. Excuse me, that was Lindsey Glenn. <laughs> Makovic to serve. That one is... In for the point. This is Lexi Albright serving for the Patriots. Kept alive by the Saints somehow. Great hands. And then a kill registered by number 15, Gracie Davis. Good start for Francis Marion, up seven to four. Lexi Albright to serve. From the left side, and it's put down by Bowerson. Tori Bowerson. Gives the serve back to the Saints and Garska. Yeah. 
middle set. Dug out by Garskica. And the finish, I think that was Glenn. Garstika. Freshman from Poland. And that one rejected by Glenn. So Glenn's showing up nicely here in the early going for the Saints. Saints have had to contend with a number of injuries to some of their key players. This one goes out of bounds. And the Saints grab the lead eight to seven. Glenn with that big match this week against Georgia College. Back set, and putting it down is Bowerson. Nine seven Saints. Block. Combining on that rejection is Garcia and Glynn. And a timeout as the Saints have taken a 10-7 lead. We'll step aside for a moment. Be back with more first set action from Flagler Gym. And welcome back. Glad to have you with us for this PBC volleyball match. First set, Saints lead it 10 to seven. Saints without Rachel Makovic. One of their top hitters. She has 85 kills, averages 3.4 kills per set. Those are both team highs. She's hitting 234. And she suffered a high ankle sprain, sprain against Lander. Will be out several weeks. This one put down in the middle by Gracie Davis. And back over to Francis Marion goes to serve Lily Walton. From the right side, Glenn again finishes. And checking in to serve is Cameron Fenner, setter and defensive specialist from Jacksonville, Florida by way of Bishop Kenny High School. Great serve. Marion able to send it back over. Free ball for the Saints. Slide attack off the block and out of bounds from Logan Garcia. Garcia, middle hitter. Bowerson from the left side. Well, Coach Affolder and his staff need to shuffle things around in terms of their hitting. Rachel Makovic will move from the right side over to the left. And this one sails long. A double hit. And it's 14 to 8, Saints 
extend their lead. Time out on the floor. We'll take it to. Saints by six, Flagler without Rachel Makovic. We talked about that. Also Carly Redfern, the senior from North Carolina, a three-time all-conference pick. First team in 2018 and 19, second team all-PBC back in 2017. It's also the freshman of the year in 2017. She's not available. A little sidewinder attack there. And put down by Bowerson. An errant pass, and Bowerson takes advantage. Fenner to serve. Checking in for Francis Mary, number 12, Brittany Senke. 15 to 8, Saints and an ace from Fenner. Fenner is the all-time assists leader at Bishop Kenny. A freshman who's the backup setter to Muff. Tried to go through the middle to the Patriots and Thigpen was denied. 17 to 8. Once again, Fenner. Backline attack into the net from Lexi Albright. Saints up by double digits. Dumping it over is Kennedy Muff. Coach Affolder really likes Muff's ability to dump it and to attack there from the setter position. He has good size. Says she was the starting setter the day she stepped on campus. Sophomore from Wisconsin, another tough serve. Garstica, the great dig. And four hits called. Saints dominating this first set. A slide attack, and that time, Thigpen able to put it down. Thigpen, Lissa is a middle blocker, but she's moved over to be that right side attack for the Patriots. Kaylee Gillespie will serve. And did Muff touch the net? Checking back in to serve is Lamoureux. It's 
Saints up 21 to nine. This one is too strong. Service error. And we'll send it back over to Francis Marion. And Watts. No, excuse me, it'll be 17. Abdur Rahim will serve. Abdur Rahim out of St. John's, Florida, Bartram Trail High School nearby here, was all county and all region at Bartram Trail. And checking in to serve for Flagler is Thompson. Thompson out of St. Pius X Catholic High School in Atlanta. Outstanding high school program. Great serve. And it'll be a free ball for the Saints. Muff, back set. And Jordan Taylor into the net for an attack error. Alexis Watts will be the server. 22 to 11, Saints. Long pass, joust at the net, won by Moff. Are they going to call a net violation here on Muff? It'll stay with Francis Marion. A little dink over the net by Makovic. Back into the game is... Muff to serve. I missed the substitution. From the left side, Bakovic. New to that side of the net. Usually it's her twin sister, Rachel, and said Re Re Rebecca, and set point for the Saints. This is Kayla Arthur. Muff to Makovic. Well, the Patriots not ready to concede just yet. Down 10, 24-14. Go through the middle this time, and Glenn. Twenty four fifteen. Pass. Muff couldn't handle it. And the Saints will come together to try to regroup here. Having a little trouble handling the serve from Arthur.
Again, working through the middle. Kovic, and Francis Marion can't handle it. And that'll be it for the first set. Saints take 25 to 16. Second set coming up. Welcome back. Look at the stats after the first set. Like we were hitting 423. Francis Mearing hitting just 040. Like we were 15 kills and just four attack errors. 14 assists. Each team with a service ace. Flagler has three service errors. As we head to set number two, Flagler up 1-0. They took the first set 25-16. Kaylee Gillespie will serve for Francis Marion to begin this second set. Back set from Muff. Saints keep it alive. Free ball for the Patriots. From the right side into the block and out of bounds. A kill for Arthur. side, out of bounds for Bowerson. Oh, 
bump set. I think that was Bowerson with the finish. Tori Bowerson will serve. Backline attack. And Kovic will send it over. From the middle. Once more from Makovic, and she finishes this time. Tying the game at two, tying the set at two. This one too strong. From Albright, she sends it long, and the Saints have taken the lead here in the second set, three to two. Bowerson. Put down with authority, this time Kayla Arthur. And the serve goes back over. Checking in for the Saints is number 16, Lamoureux. Bowerson will get a break. Abdur Rahim. Tapped over for Muff. She has a great sense of when to take control herself and attack. Sarah Kate Thompson into the game, replacing Garcia. Makovic. Off the block and down. On the attack from Albright. Muff keeps that one alive off the net. Muff continues to attack and puts it down with the left hand. Sort of half a swing there from Muff. And clearly is seeing a hole in that Francis Marion defense. Tapped over by Walton. And the serve back over to the Patriots. Point Francis Marion. Kovic. Goes back over to the Saints. And Makovic with a service error. 
From the middle, that's Jordan Taylor. Coach Affolder coach middles at D1 Dayton, where he was an assistant and eventually the head coach. And he said middles tend to hit better than the outside hitters, so why not feed them more opportunities? Big swing and the kill from Glenn. In fact, Coach Affolder's first recruit here was a middle hitter. Bowerson. And the Saints fail to get it across this time. This is out. The first recruit for Coach Affolder when he took the head job here at Flagler was Sarah Davis, a middle who hit 404 as a senior. That is a gaudy hitting percentage. Garstica somehow digs this out. Davis was a two-time All-American here at Flagler. So tied up at nine. Serving for the Patriots is Gillespie. Bowerson into the block and down. Lamoureux checks back in to serve, replacing Bowerson. Free ball for the Saints. Kovic, big hit. Somehow Francis Marion able to dig that one out. Mistimed by Logan Garcia that attempt. Abdur Rahim back in to serve. Bump set, Makovic into the net. Muff showing that athleticism to keep that ball from going into the net, get a clean set off. Big pin. Mafra Makovic again, and she's rejected by Arthur. Rebecca Makovic started her career at Eckerd College and transferred in to be with twin sister Rachel. So Rebecca is a junior in class. Rachel is still a redshirt sophomore. Kovic didn't have a lot of room to work with that time. And a timeout called by the Saints. We'll step aside for a moment. More second set action coming up.
And welcome back. We're talking about the Makovic family, Rachel and Rebecca, Saints hitters from a very athletic family. Mother Jill played basketball at Liberty. Father da David played football there. And sisters Anna, Eve, and brother Israel were all throwers on the Georgia track team. Blocked. Garcia puts up the wall. In fact, Israel Makovic was the 2010 SEC shot put champ. The athletic family and Coach Affolder said the Makovic parents were thrilled when Rebecca opted to join Rachel. Francis Marion can't get an attack going. This is Thompson serving for the Saints. And sends this one long. So Garcia will check back in, replacing Thompson. Back set. And Taylor is blocked at the net. Apparently, when you give that point to Taylor, I'm guessing the blocking pair there were into the net. Back set for... Arthur with that sliding attack. Arthur's typically a middle blocker, but has moved into that outside hitter on the right side for Francis Marion. Makovic, Makovic, excuse me. Lynn is blocked. Arthur serving. That set was a little off target and it didn't get Taylor much to work with. Taylor saying, that's on me. Taylor's left leg heavily wrapped. Kovic. And she picks up another kill. Bowerson checks back in, replacing Lamoureux. Makovic to serve. Big hit. And the kill by Albright. Patriots lead it 18-14. Haynes took the first set, 25-16. Albright. Through the middle and out. Or it was touched at the net, so it's a point for Flagler. Garcia back in. Sure replace Taylor. And the server is Garstica. Bowerson. And Glenn 
hit it into the block and Flagler unable to keep it going. Patriots up 19 to 15. Muff with the jump. Muff is so good at that. And Francis Marion left a huge gap in the middle of their defense. And Kennedy Muff made them pay. Fender back in to serve. She was very effective serving in the first set. Into the rafters it goes, but Flagler keeps it going. Now through the middle, thick pin with a big swing. 20 to 16, Patriots on top. Kaylee Gillespie to serve. Bowerson off the block. Harrison will head to the bench. Lamro in to serve. Lamro, 5'6 freshman from New Braunfels, Texas. Sends this one long. 21 17, Francis Marion. The Saints will take a timeout. We'll take it to 21-17 in the second set. Kendi Muff leading the Saints in hitting percentage at 500. Taylor at 286. Bowerson hitting 357. Bowerson leading Flagler with eight kills. Five for Muff, four for Taylor and Glenn. Big pin. Sent back right at her. And a double hit. Garcia checks in to serve. Garstica goes to the bench. Blocked by Taylor and Makovic. Twenty-one nineteen. Saints closing the gap here in the second set. We'll keep it right here. Tell you a little bit about head coach Matt Affolder, 2001 Indiana State grad in his seventh season here in St. Augustine. 
was the head coach for one season at Dayton, where he went 16 and 13. Overall, 8 and 6 in the A10. Overall, 149 and 74 and 76 and 33 in conference play. Was also an assistant at Dayton, Indiana, Southern Illinois, and Indiana State. The Saints have won three regular season PBC titles and have three NCAA appearances in the last four years. They made the Elite Eight in 2017. Of course, this very strange season, volleyball played in the spring instead of the fall because of COVID. The PBC will still have a conference tournament, but there's no NCAA volleyball tournament this year. There is an AVCA. The Coaches Association will hold a national in, uh, tournament in Dallas in April. Another block. Taylor feeling it in the middle. And got help from Muff. Garcia to serve. End of the net. Coach Affolder really likes the energy and the toughness of this particular squad. Kovic gets it back from Muff and puts it down. Fenner replaced by Glenn. Muff will serve. That one is in. Tied at 22. And a timeout called by the Patriots. Looking at the Peach Belt Conference standings, Flagler a perfect 5-0 atop the conference. UNC Pembroke is a surprising 3-1. and 